West Yorkshire, home to Bradford City, an historical club steeped in the community around Valley Parade. That community has seen many shifts since 1903 when the club were formed, and the stadium's neighbours are now mainly from an Asian background. With great community ties, the club has reached out to these Bradfordians and everyone's welcome to support their home team. I've been a supporter since I was a young lad and now I've been associate director now for three seasons and I love the club. I was an expert on, uh, on bringing in Asian supporters to this club but it's, uh, it's uh, certainly something that Bradford City have always looked at uh, and will do in the future. My dad brought me down um, many, many years ago. Support local, you know, live local, uh, and that's the way it should be. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Through everything, put yeah. ups and downs, no matter what, always. This is the right club. There's, there's no point supporting a different club like Manchester United or something if they're miles away when we've just got a club down the road. I think it's been instilled in me to be honest. Family wise, it's just, it's there, it's, it's always been there for us all. It's, uh, I think it comes from your roots, you, you continue to come from when you're a child. I keep coming whenever I can, like Mrs. Lesman, where I can get out house and stuff. So. <laughs> but it, it transcends boundaries, this football, and we're trying to get a team, a winning team, a team that are confident, we're about creating creating bonds and creating unity, you know, it doesn't matter where we come from, whether we're rich or poor or what backgrounds we have, it's about working together, working as a team and winning as a team. Some of Bradford's older Asians have been coming to Valley Parade for years. When Anwar Musa arrived from Kenya as a kid, he was hooked. I've been watching Bradford City since early 70s. It must have been about eight to nine when, I, when we started going. In those days, it was like, couldn't afford to watch the whole game, but we sneaked in at half time when they opened the gates. In the early years, uh, it, it was different because we had very few of us that went to, to football then. I mean, now it's more multicultural and, you know, people enjoy going to football. In the early 70s, it was totally different. You'll, you'll probably get the racist remarks here and there but it's more toned down, more welcoming now than what it was. So hopefully we'll see more Asian supporters going to football games. In 2013, after years of near bankruptcy and a dabble in the Premiership, the club is on a good footing. And for Anwar and the Bantam's loyal fans, the unthinkable happened. Having defeated first Premiership Wigan Athletic, then Arsenal at home, finally Aston Villa were beaten over two legs and Bradford found themselves in the final of the League Cup against Swansea City and over 30,000 tickets were sold. Anwar got a ticket and he's up early to take his sons to Wembley. My husband couldn't sleep all night last night, you know, he just said, I'm so excited, I can't wait till morning. So he woke up at four o'clock and he said, oh, you know, let's go downstairs and have breakfast because, you know, I can't just wait. So I'll be not awake since four o'clock. Anwar and his mates have watched the Bantams since the 70s. We followed the city through thick and thin. In the early years, uh, it, it was different because we had very few of us that went to, to football then. Tickets for the Wembley? <laughs> More wel welcoming now than what it was. Morning, you're right. You, you don't get any um, sign of any trouble or you know any racist remarks. Yeah, the, the, you'll, you'll probably get the racist remarks here and there but it's more toned down than what it used to be. So hopefully we'll see more Asian supporters going to football games. I can't wait. Buzzing excitement, isn't it? It's, uh, it's good for City, obviously, to get this far. You know, we deserved it. Being it the local, the local team, and obviously we've all had aspirations for the team to like get further up in the league and stuff, but um, 
we're on we're on the way. We're doing well. I think the final's in the bag. Hopefully, getting ghost bumps. Like even playing pool, we can't even see the ball properly because we're all getting excited and stuff. It's all about Parkinson's Bradford Army. There's not much Asian lads playing for Bradford as it is, but it'd obviously be great. I picture myself playing for Bradford one day. Yeah. Here we are. When I hear that. That's it. Golden ticket, like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> and this under my pillow for so, the last few um, nights. I took Mrs. Duck for the laundry, they're in trouble. Yeah. Do you ever get a tray for me? Well, okay. yeah. Nice and good cup of tea before setting up. Yeah. Forget the bacon butter, <laughs> this is the best thing. <laughs> We've already won anyway. I mean, you know, we have had loads of calls from abroad, and you know, they're all supporting us. Even like Premiership teams are supporting us as well. And whether we lose or win, we won the people's heart anywhere, and you know that's, that, that means quite a lot to us. It's going to be a fantastic day. It's going to be an exciting day. It's going to be a day where City's going to uh, shine. And I'm telling you, they're going to win it 90th minute, two one to City. <laughs> 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 well, I'd say two one to Rafford. Two one to Rafford. Come on, City. <laughs> All the sandwiches for for them. Nearly hundred. Chicken sandwich, egg meals, and there's a meat sticker sandwich. I had a ticket to go to, but then my nephew, he didn't have any ticket, so I thought, you know, it's best I give it to him because he deserves it. I'm only a part time supporter, but he's a full time supporter. Anyway, I do support Everton and I do support Liverpool and Newcastle, but today I'm supporting my husband's team, so that's right. I will wish them good luck. I'm very proud that Bradford City has made it. Wembley. All this time we've had ne negative, you know, views about Bradford and today is the day that we will make proud of our city and to make it to final, that's a great achievement. I'm a football widow today. It's nearly 30 years since the Valley Parade fire which claimed the lives of 56 fans and for Anwar and his friends it's a time of reflection. I've seen the good side and the bad side. Unfortunately I was, uh, was there when the fire happened as well. We were there that day, not one of the Asian died in that fire, but the Asian community played a lot of uh, helping hand um, in helping others at the game that day. Eunice Ibrahim was on duty that day as a special constable. When I think about it, it was frightening afterwards, you know, what I'd gone through, you know, because I'd be, I would be scared sometimes thinking, it was horrible, but at the day, because you're in specials, you know, you don't think about time, you know, because you're just doing what you have to do, you see. The Bangladeshi community around the, the, the football ground, um, when the fire, when it happened, we saw loads of the Bangladeshi community bringing buckets of water out and blankets out I tried to, help uh, to help out. Um, you know, pe people went in their houses, got the blankets out, just to smother people and everything. And yeah, the Asian community did play a lot of big parts around the stadium that day. For the players and fans of local non-league Bradford-based Albion Sports, there's time for a few early drinks before their buses leave. For the city itself, it's been uh, absolutely fantastic. It's got everybody together, hasn't it? To hit a major cup final is, uh, you've got to pinch yourself to uh, see if it's real, really. If everybody made an effort together, that, there's nothing wrong with Bradford now, is there, 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 There's a living legend, uh, amateur footballer. Taj! Living legend of Bradford. How he never played for Bradford City, we'll never know. Ask anybody. Taj seen. Record goal scored at Sunday, Bradford Sunday Lanes. <laughs> it's not 11 o'clock yet, stop it. <laughs> Come on, City! <laughs> but we play in the Northern Counties East League now, Albion Sports. That's the team that run from here. And it's totally multicultural, you know, uh, so cosmopolitan. We've got English, we've got Pakistani, we've got Indian, we've got West Indian. We even had a German that used to play for us, so they don't come anymore mixing that. Graffordians are Graffordians, it doesn't make no difference to me. White, black, blue, green, it don't matter. It's just a dream, isn't it? Even if they lose, it's going to be a good day out. Probably. Brings Bradford together, doesn't it? Asian community, English community, every community all together. Going to watch the match. Really good feeling, actually. Unbelievable. Nobody was More than done it. God bless them. A lot of luck, but that's what it's all about, isn't it? The game's yeah. that's what it's all about. How they've done it, they've done it. 
the, the buzz around the whole city since we've been to Villa Park. It's just been mental. Everybody's yeah. just looking forward to that, not bothered about work, food, drink, that's just like focused on it. <laughs> no. That's the team. That's the team. No, that and that. That and that. That and that. That first, because I'm, I'm, I'm captain of that team. I, I play for this football club, uh, Albion Sports, I'm the captain of it. So I've got a lot of friends who are all coloured, mixed races, everything. So it don't matter to me, you know, like what we are. It matter, we're all together. So I know My, my last word is, come on, sit in. And hopefully we'll bring, this, bring the cup home. That's it. That's a great day for the city. Especially for people like us who have been born and bred in Bradford. But we come from India. Uh, we're in our own semi-pro football team. It's a multicultural club that we run. It's a multicultural society. And I can tell you all, all of Bradford is behind Bradford City today. Are you all excited? Very excited. It's our second year on the semi-pro ladder and uh, obviously we would love to emulate, well not emulate Rafa City, but one day try to get on the ladder and compete at a higher level. <laughs> Zesh Raymond, a player of Pakistani heritage, once captain Bradford City, but the fans would like to see more local Asian players coming through the ranks. Why do not ethnic minorities get progress in the pro game? My philosophy, my belief in that is that it's about people who make decisions. And normally it's the coaches and the managers who make decisions at pro clubs. But to become a coach or a manager, you have to be an ex-player. Ex Correct. So because we haven't got ex-players in positions of decision making, I think we're quite far behind. I do think there are one or two lads out there, but again, the individual has to be good enough. To, to get there. I wouldn't want Rafa City to pick a lad just because of his colour. I think he's had to earn that right. I do know that if Rafa City did get an Asian lad playing uh, regularly, I could definitely see the attendance going up considerably. We are looking for a role model, especially the young ones. We just need that first individual to make it. <laughs> just shows you how football can bring all the groups, especially the ethnic minorities, together what football can achieve. Very nice. We're off to string fellows after lunch. <laughs> I don't think I'll make work on Monday. Everybody got the ticket. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Today is not the first time the Musa family have travelled to Wembley. In 1996, Bradford played Notts County in the second division playoff final. And then Anwar had high hopes for his two eldest sons. Last time we went, 17 years ago, my sons were five and six. We were hoping that they would support Bradford City, but as they grew up, you know, supported the bigger teams. One of them supports Liverpool and the other supports Newcastle. So fortunately, I'm hoping that when my grandson grows up, he'll be supporting Bradford City. With the change in fashions, the historical Wembley is gone. And now, even Anwar's shell suits are a thing of the past. Can't wait. You know, the tickets have finally arrived. It's a shame that I can't take all my family along to the game. I'm really looking forward to this. It's a big occasion for me and I don't think I'll ever get the opportunity to see Bradford in a major final at Wembley. <laughs> this is a momentous thing, isn't it, really? I mean, I'm a Leeds supporter, but it's absolutely incredible that uh, Leeds they win today. Yeah. And they're going into Europe. <laughs> well, it's a, a big achievement team. to Leeds. It's never happened before. Yeah. <laughs> Swansea will probably <laughs> score a goal. But then Bradford will come back in the end, second they, half, they win the game, 2-1, 2-1. Two one. Two one. We've got a super, super early. Only Ed Hansen's yeah. come on and he's yeah. going to pop it over that yeah. defender and then put it back at the net like he did against Aston Villa. Well, set piece. And then that's yeah, it. man, you are the best. We well, can't say this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Come on, let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. 191 miles, you know, I can't wait. What a road trip. Come on, City. 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 Come
The list is covered. City. Them bits in disguise. Even at the last minute, we get. Even at the last minute, we're getting a city convert. Off we go. Where are we going? Where are we going? Come on, sit in! It all started at school, at the playground. When you got picked for your school, that was the most defining moment uh, of your, of your, of your uh, life at that. It was quite difficult because your parents wanted you to uh, concentrate on your studies and do well and uh, take up a profession whereby uh, uh, lead to a better lifestyle uh, rather than take part in sports. We were the first generation of the youngsters who've come from abroad. Um, our parents didn't know um, how the system worked. Do you think if somebody became the first Asian professional footballer, Actually, how, how will it inspire the young, 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 young Asian girl, lads? Well, I'll tell you what, it, it'd be like a role model, it's more than a role model. When we get all these foreign players from abroad, we pay silly money for them, yeah? When they got talent, we've got our own talented beat lads up here, but they don't get a chance to play, do they? If you look at other countries, uh, especially like France, they have a lot of uh, immigrants like the Algerians and Moroccans who are, who are now nationalised with France. You know, you, you've got players like uh, Zidane, in, Zidane. I mean, he was a sort of a, you know, an Algerian boy. Now, for us over here in the UK, yes, you have one or two Asian French players playing in the lower leagues and everything. But unfortunately, they're just the fringe players. I think if there was an Asian player who was born over here, bred over here, playing for a professional club, especially in the Premier League, I tell you what, that would really enhance the other youngsters, Asian youngsters, all over the UK, to start participating more in football. You sure you don't want it's <laughs> Homemade, first this morning, wife does. For about four o'clock in the morning, doing all this stuff full of sandwiches. And actually, finishing it all off. You can't beat these because these are horse meat. Last time we went up uh, 17 years ago, my sons were five and six, so I mean, they've grown up, so I'll be able to enjoy it a bit more. Everybody well fed and everything. Yes. Everybody well tanked up and ready to go. Come on City, this is it now. Big moments arrived. Margaret Thatcher, John Major, Cameroon, Blair, two Jags. We're ready for you boys, Wembley. The Queen with us as well. Queen Victoria, Elizabeth, Charles, we're coming. <laughs> I was 12 years old when I started going down to City. Like when we saw a crowd, you know, we were sort of frightened the hell out of us at the beginning. But when we went on a regular basis, you know, we got used to it. Those were the days, I wish I could turn it around now. The 80s, we used to go regularly to watch a lot of football, not just Bradford City, but other teams as well. You were probably the only Asian guys. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in those days, we used to travel all over, didn't we? We did, that's right, yeah. And sometimes we stood out like a sore thumb in the crowd because we were the only Asians, you know. Never thought of us of going to football, though, did it? No. We've always been okay in terms of not being singled out or anything, you know, without, with us being Asians or anything. There was no sort of racial barriers or anything at all, whether that was at Bradford, Leeds, Liverpool. Yes, we had heard there's been a lot of issues, but uh, uh, fortunately for us, I'm going back now 40 years of watching football. Um, never had any issues with race at all. Go to any game and watch the football without being intimidated by other fans because of our skin colour. There's a big ex-Kenyan Gujarati community in Wembley which helps when you need parking. They all do the wonders for Bradford. Bradford hasn't had much going for itself um, and this will this will really boost the profile of Bradford. Thanks a lot. See you there, yeah? Back to my mate, yeah? Especially with the Asian community to follow uh, Bradford and maybe, you know, the, the young Asian lads will probably take this up and, you know, get into following Bradford as well as play, hoping to play Bradford as well.
We need more Asian people actually going and more Asian people playing the game at a higher level. Just to be in the final, you know, that's an, an achievement in itself. After this, where when we're done, we we'll probably might get promoted, and if we get promoted, we'll probably put a good two or three seasons together, and we'll be, might be back in the Premiership, hopefully. But I grew up in Bradford. We we're finally here at the home of football, Wembley Stadium. Got all my family and friends with us here. All my home supporters from Bradford. Um, we're going to enjoy it. Fantastic. Wonderful. Wonderful. What score? 3 0. 3 0. We couldn't get any better then, could we? It's absolutely freezing cold. We thought it was a bit warmer down south, but it's actually colder than the, than the north. Yes. Wow. Look at all the Bradford supporters! Come on, Tilly! Come on, Tilly! Proud to be Bradfordian! Yeah. <laughs> Bradford are great! So you couldn't get anything better, could you? No. Yeah, definitely going home with the cup today. Yeah, bring on the Bantams! Come on, City! Welcome to... Anwar's old friend Mo arrived early and he's been busy. He's been here since... Uh, Saturday it's morning. Saturday morning, yeah. There you are, you see. Look at that. City man through and through. That's him. But only this is white and it's supposed to be black. Here come a Korea winning. Come all this way and we've uh, knocked three Premiership teams down, so I don't think why not. We can, we can knock out Swansea as well. I mean, this is, you know, my mate Ish Moore and myself. Um, we've been sort of following Bradford City for nearly 40 odd years. We've been to Liverpool, Manchester United. Um, we've been all over when we were young. We used to follow. We were probably the only Asians around that time that used to go to home and away games. Well, they'll beat Europe next day if they win today. <laughs> so, so hopefully, keep our fingers crossed and hope we'll be travelling throughout Europe Come next on, year. City. And curries are on <laughs> us. Yeah, <laughs> In 50 years time, I'd like to see at least half of the crowd being Asian and multicultural and maybe five or six players playing for, for Bradford City with, from the Asian community. Never mind, at least we're there. Hard work. So we really building that was here. City. Yeah. They didn't turn up to their city. They give too much respect yeah. to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Best team at land. We always said that. Like, what do you think? Oh, oh no. Yay, man. City, <laughs> till I die. Yay. No comment. Yeah, my wife treated a photo of Portugal. Yeah, but it was brilliant. Um, Non stop singing, I know that. Like, especially <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, the atmosphere with everybody. Yeah. The atmosphere was brilliant right yeah. to the end. The <laughs> city fans didn't stop singing at all. I, I read, yeah, so what? So what? We got beaten 5 0. I'll tell you what we saw. We saw quite a few uh, Asian supporters today, and it was really pleasing to see. Let's hope that's the start of more people watching. Yeah. yeah. Not, not just in Bradford, but yeah. other places as well. Nor did I hear any one chant 
No. Racism. No. no um, obviously, no. times are changing, but they're, um, yeah, they're changing for the better now, isn't it? Yeah. Today, if you go to watch a, a normal league game or City, when it, wherever you are in the stadium, you know, you can see Asian supporters scattered about. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Where we sit on our row, yeah. when we go City weekly in the upper cup, you know, that's like our row, but then there's other white people that we know, who we see every week, like, yeah. oh, how you been, how's your day, and this, that, and yeah. that. So it's really nice to talk like yeah. that, you know what I mean? End of the day, this is what we've achieved. Yes. Black yeah. the jank kids. Yes. Nobody can take this away. Well, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't win the game, but I think we won the singing contest. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try not Anyway, we'll be back for the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs>